Alex Jones on the GCN Radio Network. Big Brother. Mainstream media. Government cover-ups. You want answers? Well, so does he. He's Alex Jones on the GCN Radio Network. And now, live from Austin, Texas, Alex Jones. We'll put it up on screen. Last year after we first broke it, um, Fox News reported that evangelicals were uh, labeled as terrorists. And that anybody that was part of the Tea Party was basically a terrorist. Matt was just telling me that he talked to one of his buddies at Fort Hood, and he was saying, they got a memo saying, don't visit the Drudge Report. Matt, repeat what you just told me. We were bringing up, because you did a lot of mountain training your years as a heavy machine gunner in the Army. Uh, but Matt, you, uh, Matt Pearson, uh, you were getting into the fact, of, the fact that Nancy Pelosi and Big Sis and Napolitano listing returning veterans as the number one terror threat. I mean, this is the branding of us as the new enemy. And in these Army videos where they talk about the new asymmetrical warfare center, this new city, they say, well, we're preparing for what we think the next threat is. So then they're getting ready for the next war. West Point has training manuals now where they say the next war will be with the Tea Party. I mean, this is crazy, Matt. Go ahead. Yeah. Um, yeah, well, to get, to get back on the point I was talking about, about I, I just, it seems to me that they're really trying to paint veterans and soldiers as bad guys to maybe kind of sway the public's opinion on them. I mean, I think that that's pretty, uh, pretty crappy to call somebody that, that volunteers to serve uh, for their country. And that's what we have. We have a volunteer a volunteer military. Nobody, We don't have a draft going on right now. We don't have a situation like in other countries where you're pretty much um, – you're required to serve two years. I know there's a lot of uh, countries in, in South America, and like even when I was in Korea, those guys, they have to serve two years. But they graduate from high school, you go into the military, whether you like it or not. But I like that here. We all volunteer to go serve our country, and we do that because we're proud and we're American, and it's in our family, and it's in our bloodline. But my dad was is a Vietnam vet. You know, there was no there was no question what I was going to do when I, when I got out of high school. I knew where I was going to go. So to do that and then to have... Some dingbat call you a terrorist, man. That kind of that pulls on the heartstrings a little bit. And then you have all these little, all these little uh, stories coming out about how, oh, you know, well, so and so veterans have uh, PTSD; they need to have their guns taken away. And then on top of that, now you have all these stories breaking about how Americans are, you know, soldiers are training to fight Americans. It seems to me like what they're basically trying to do is paint a picture, saying, hey. The troops aren't the good guys anymore, it? and that's not that's not the truth at all whatsoever. Oh, I agree with you. It's a very sophisticated psyop. It's like the federal training to make cops do bad things, and then it demonizes the police, which drives them into the hands of the feds. They want to use the troops while they're in, and then have them demonized once they're out. And they're going to autonomous vehicles now. They're getting rid of the humans the next ten years, and so that's what this is all about: is phasing out the men. Period. And, and, and it shows that they'd like to stage some events and try to use the military against the American people. I just don't see that ever working, uh, Matt. No, that's never going to work. That's, that's not going to work. And it, but it's like you said, they are trying to phase out people, get a, a robotic military-style army because, you know, like I said, the army is made up of your, you know, people that are your brothers, your mom, your dad, your cousins, your friends. Hey, briefly, and, tell me about your buddy at Fort Hood talking about they got a memo about don't visit certain websites. Yeah, there was a memo that came out a while back, and it's like you were saying about the uh, court martialing for um, for being uh, being a Tea Party contributor. But yeah, it was the same way. Don't be caught on the Drudge Report's website. Don't be caught on the Alex Jones show. Stuff like that. You know that they're kind of cracking down on stuff like that. But that's, the thing about that is when you sign them, when you sign your name and you join the military, you do kind of give some of your rights. That's that's just the way it goes. No, I understand, but but it's like saying don't read the New York Times. Right, I mean, I mean right. it's not like they're saying don't read North Korean propaganda. I mean, I mean, of course, you know, they've been doing that to me for over a decade. All that did was get the military to be our biggest audience early on. Exactly. Because you tell yeah. them, don't go visit this website. I mean, what's going to happen? Exactly, exactly. And I, the thing is, I just don't, I don't see our military ever attacking this, the citizenry of America. That's just not... <laughs> That's not that's not fathomable. They're not they're not going to do that. That's that's what they they signed to protect the Constitution, not the president or some jacked up agenda. Um, but you know, if I had to guess, and I mean, I, I mean, I, I, looking at the pictures of this new mouth site in uh, Virginia, it's not even a mouth site; it's a city. I if mean, you had to guess, real quick, what's that? If you had to guess, real quick, what do you what do you think? I it, 
personally believe that we're going to find ourselves in a deep, serious problem. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Alex Jones break. here with a message to fellow freedom lovers. The prognosis for the entire planetary economic system runs from bad to worse. The globalist model is to shut down societies and starve patriots out until they acquiesce to the global takeover. That's why we've assembled the most vital and important preparedness items at InfoWarsShop.com. These are items that I did research on, that I personally use. We've got the Life Straw, so you can turn fetid water into safe water anywhere you go. The KTOR Hand Crank Generator, to charge up key equipment during power outages or out in the field. Strategic Relocation, 3rd Edition by Joel Skousen. When Disaster Strikes by Matthew Stein. Therosafe, used by Homeland Security to protect yourself during any radiological event. Hand Crank Shortwave AM FM Radios. Everything that we've researched and found to be the best is available at InfoWarsShop.com and your purchase makes our InfoWar possible. We're getting prepared. Are you? InfoWarsShop.com the globalist social engineers are not just targeting us with propaganda. They are manipulating our genetics. We are being targeted at every level by estrogen mimickers that lower our testosterone and other hormones and natural compounds that the body needs. After consulting top doctors, nutritionists, pharmacists, and others, we have developed what I believe is the ultimate non-GMO organic super male vitality formula sourced from powerful organic herbs and then concentrated for maximum potency super male vitality was developed to activate your body's own natural processes instead of using synthetic chemicals super male vitality by infowars life is so powerful that i only take half the recommended dose for a limited time we are offering 15 percent off super male vitality at infowarslife.com to introduce you to this powerful supplement visit infowarslife.com today to secure your super male vitality infowarslife.com in the last 50 years, iodine has been phased out of our staple foods and replaced with the halogen bromine, a practice now banned in nations around the world. Guess what else is in the halogen family? Fluoride. Ladies and gentlemen, Alex Jones here. In 1924, the federal government did the right thing and encouraged salt producers to add iodine. It's the good halogen on the periodic table. And the results are on record, reports documented, a 15-point IQ increase in areas that had previously been deficient in iodine. Bottom line, iodine is important. Unbound, clean, in a glycerin base, nascent iodine was the answer for myself and my family. You will find Survival Shield nascent iodine exclusively at InfoWarsLife.com. InfoWars Life Survival Shield nascent iodine isn't just for emergencies. I take it every day. That's InfoWarsLife.com or call toll-free 888-253-3139. Big Brother. Mainstream media. Government cover-ups. You want answers? Well, so does he. He's Alex Jones on the GCN Radio Network. And now, live from Austin, Texas, Alex Jones. All right, we've got a really informed guest who's got a new book out, Michael Maloof of WorldNetDaily.com, WND.com going to be joining us here in just a moment the next 45 minutes then i'll continue with news and we have the lead singer of corn uh joining us via video skype he's been putting out videos critical of the lord and savior obama and uh, as jamie fox calls him that's a big deal to have a major rock band doing that um because you're not supposed to criticize uh, the dear leader if you're in entertainment especially uh, or you get persecuted so we look forward to talking to him uh, finishing up with my uh, friend Matt Pearson, who did a lot of mount training and was involved in that in the Army. He was giving us his take on this Virginia Center that has churches, uh, you name it, uh, $100 million to build it. Uh, and it's it's got, you know, D.C. signs in it. It's clearly forever warfare in the U.S. It's this new mission for, quote, domestic terrorists, which they say are the Tea Party. But he had another wrinkle to it uh, in closing. Matt, tell us. I was just saying that you know, there's there's a bunch of different reasons why they could have it. Um, you know, the number one reason being the, where you're going to train is where you want to be the most realistic for what's at hand. And I think that really the only the, the most serious problem I see that we could have on our soil right now is the fact that we don't have any border security um, along the Mexican border, and we have a problem with drug cartels. And I have a feeling that that's probably going to end up surfacing pretty soon. Um, 
you know, I'm nothing but a glorified fry cook, but if I can see the problem with it, then the government probably knows about it too. And I have a feeling, you know, with everything that's going on with legalizing pot and that's been on uh, cartels business, you know, toes, I'm pretty soon we're going to start having issues with it. I got a buddy that's a, uh, APD Drug Task Force, he says they're stumbling on different cartel stash houses every day trying to do low-level uh, marijuana busts. So I'm hoping that that's what it's for because, like I said, I don't ever see the, the military um, taking up arms against its own people in my lifetime. I don't see that happening. All right. Well, thank you so much, Matt. We'll talk to you more soon. Sounds good, man. Have a good one. You too. Uh, there goes Matt Pearson giving us his take on that. Unfortunately, if the political class is able to, they will have the military as a domestic police force. They're getting rid of posse comitatus. Their main mission, we broke this six years ago, it's now mainstream news, is to, quote, deal with the number one terror threat, uh, which uh, the establishment uh, openly states is returning veterans, gun owners, Christians, conservatives, the list goes on and on. And, and so this is going on. And uh, it's a real crisis. And yes, the phony drug war has certainly contributed to all of this destabilization as well. I mean, here's the Fox News article. Does the Army consider Christians Tea Party a terror threat? And in the memos it said, do not be part of the Tea Party or you might get court-martialed. Don't be an evangelical. This is, this is outrageous. What you'd expect from a Soviet military command. And this is the facts. Now, joining us uh, for the most of the hour is Michael Maloof. Senior staff writer at World Net Daily, specializing in international political and economic analysis. A former senior security advisor analyst for the Office of the Secretary of Defense. Maloof was almost 30 years of federal service, 23 years with the U.S. Department of Defense. And I'm not going to go over his entire uh, bio, but it's, it's very interesting. Director of Technology Security Operations involved in halting the uh, diversion of military critical technologies to countries of national security and proliferation concerns, those involved in sponsoring terrorism. He's also advanced uh, firearms training and combat tracking, training in U.S. Marines, and has a background in extensive protection. And uh, following 2011 to uh, 2001 attacks, Maloof uh, has uh, also been focusing more and more on terrorism. But he's got a new book out right now, A Nation Forsaken EMP, The Escalating Threat of an American Catastrophe, published by WorldNet daily books available on amazon.com and bookstores everywhere and this emp situation is a real deal because you could have even a country that doesn't have a high-tech weapon system to try to get one of these over here or you could have the sun mimic uh what an atomic or nuclear emp could do i mean he's the expert on we'll, we'll get uh, mr maloof to break it all down my issue is, is that uh, there's, from what I've seen in Congress, they finally have had some hearings on this, but there doesn't seem to be the focus there should be. Uh, instead, we see an obsession with um, gun owners in all this new military training in the news. Um, supposedly, uh, the military is being taught that, that gun owners and Tea Partiers are the new domestic threat, uh, not the Iranians, uh, not um, the Mexican drug cartels, uh, but the Tea Partiers. So before we get into your book and EMP, I wanted to, just in this segment, the time we've got left, uh, Mr. Maloof, I wanted to get your take on the open demonization of the Tea Party returning veterans, the attempt to shift the whole military industrial complex in domestically, I guess, into Obama's domestic security force he talks so much about. You dovetail that with the purge of the military that's undoubtedly going on that all these top generals have spoken to you and others about at worldnetdaily.com. Uh, I'm trying to get the big picture here from your perspective. What do you think is uh, going on here? Because we used to get documents five, six years ago where the military was trying to take on the Tea Party and people couldn't even believe they were real. Now it's just all over news like it's a good thing. Why, the new threat isn't Al-Qaeda, it's uh, the veteran next door. He's going to bomb the police department any time now. Now what do you think is going on? Well, first of all, thanks for having me. Uh, I just... Got off the phone with a very uh, with an on-duty um, officer uh, whose name will remain anonymous, and he's very concerned about this. And and what in our in our discussion, it really uh, uh, encapsulated what is going on. He he said any dissent by uh, within within the ranks today 
is is tantamount to uh, you being purged yourself, or, or your your performance is uh, downrated, and uh, you're you're out. You're out of the service. 